Disclaimer. The following video is pure fan speculation. Nothing I say should be treated as fact unless a post has proven it to be a real thing. Fusion Fall Legacy and Fusion Fall Retro have no set release date as of now and are not connected to Cartoon Network in any way as these are fan games. Be sure to check the website for any and all information you may need. What's going on my magical apprentices, I'm your spooky dealer and welcome to week 53 of Fusion Fall Legacy's Magical Update, the only show where you can see this. Whether or not that's a good thing or a bad thing, well, that's just up to you to decide. But before we can talk about the game-changing photos from this week, we need to get into some magical shoutouts from last week's episode. I wonder if all these people are happy that they were right. And yeah, you heard me correctly. They were right. Because in the first picture, the long-anticipated host to be revealed is Chris. We see Chris. It was Chris. Everyone is right. You were right. It was the most obvious candidate it all along. Ah, they did the septuple fake out, making us think it was Chris and then making us think it's Lumpus, but it was Chris. And I have to say, Chris is looking good, but it's kind of weird to see him with actual eyes. Ugh. And I've seen many of you question how can he possibly be in the game, to which I present you with Johnny Tess and the rules for getting a character in the legacy. For any character to be eligible for the game, they either need to have been from a show that was already in the game and had some representation presentation or from a show that's no longer airing on Cartoon Network or is owned by Cartoon Network. Like Johnny Test, Total Drama already had representation in Fusion Fall, but unlike Johnny Test, instead of having a character in the game, Total Drama had shirts. Yeah, apparently that's enough. And this opens the door to so many possibilities. Hmm, let's see, what other possible shows can we get added into <gasps> Nope, I can't think of anything. In the next set of photos, we can see that thanks to Chris, this season is gonna be known as Total Drama Invasion. Get it? Cause of TDI? <laughs> <laughs> With this info and the information that they're talent scouting, I'm starting to think that the entirety of season 3, or a good chunk of it, will be Chris looking for people to compete on the show. Which, if it is, I think that's an awesome way to show off new characters and places, having Chris go around to different places asking them to compete. And if it's not, everything I know is a lie. But I don't think that's the case, because in the final two pictures, we can see that very thing being executed with Lumpy Space Princess. But judging by her hobo sack, it doesn't look like she's a part of the show yet because if you know LSP you know she's all about getting attention so I feel once she gets the gist of the situation she'll jump at being a part of the show and what will we see next on the show will we ever see that silhouette filled in and what will the next picture be find out next week on fusion fall legacies magical updates I just had to I just I just had to hey but before we go we did get two character reveals for this week so you know we had to add him to the gear chart and if you want this bad boy he'll be in the description down below available for you to download and use to your pleasure and that's it for the week hey if you like hanging out with cool people and playing games and maybe even want to hang out with me you can join my discord the link is in the description if you are some good laughs almost every single day you can check out my streams I stream daily now on twitch and if you're not a part of any of those things that you like facebook there's a cool facebook group down there you can join as well if i missed anything let me know down in the comments below and you can be featured in next week's episode in the shout out section. Till then, my magical apprentices, I've been your spooky dealer, and stay haunted. <laughs>